Hello everybody. So in this video I will be talking about the Sun Lu filler dryer S2. This is the newer version with a big display. So the the dryer comes in this nice package. It is uh, in this foam bag here. It comes with a quick start guide. You don't really need much more. And what I didn't understand in the beginning, it also comes with some Teflon tubes. And once I inspected the machine, I found out that um, you can guide the filament through. And once you have dried it, you could print out of the box. At the moment, I am drying some PET G in there. When I have a full spool, I found out that when it's very humid, I sometimes need two times two cycles to, to get it really down to uh, a very low humidity level, but uh, yeah, I think I need a little bit more experience, but I, for the moment I have the feeling that twice is so, sometimes better. Where I really found a significant optical uh, difference when I was drying uh, PET filament, because I'm producing my own filament from PET bottles, and without the uh, drying process, the optical result was always very foamy and uh, after the drying process there I only had to run one cycle uh, the print result was really crystal clear so that was really an optical difference. I turn it on now and you can see uh, now it has 32 only which is great I will use the filament now and <clears throat> it is the patch that I made by myself from pet bottles. This is where I joined it. This is why it looks like that. But I'm uh, really curious to see uh, if the printing result has improved now because uh, normally you always see the humidity in the print. The prints are a little bit whitish and now this should uh, improve the, the result a lot. For the PET, I use the PET-G program. Uh, to, I will shut it off now so you can see. Um, you always have to tap twice on the display. Let me zoom in a little bit more so you can see it better. So you tap twice, like that, and then it turns on. And once it turns on, it starts the program automatically, so it counts backwards from six hours. So at the moment uh, we have here PET G. So in order to switch the, the filament, you go on set. Then you would move up and down. Yeah, here uh, you can change from uh, Celsius to Fahrenheit. And when you tap again, you know, this uh, is activated. So what is blinking is activated. So you could change the temperature, but I don't want to do that. Then the time, I'm also going to leave that. The material choice, okay, let's run through. PLA, PC, PA, ABS, TPU, PETG. Yeah, I'm going to leave it that way. And then you could also change if you want to have this uh, LED light on or off. Uh, see, now it's off, but I like it. So I'm going to leave it that way. And... Um, once you wait for a while, this will stop blinking, I guess. Yes, now. Okay, so I'm really happy with the dryer. Um, I was asking myself if a fan inside would make uh, a little bit of a difference. I'm not quite sure. Oh, I have to zoom out again. Excuse me, don't see my face. So here I am back. So I don't know if a fan would make a difference in there. Of course, it would make the whole thing louder and you would have to have some, some uh, um, area where the air could escape. So what does it look like in the inside? There are two heating pads on the upper and lower uh, area of the machine. And uh, yeah, so far I really uh, enjoy using it and I can recommend it. And um, yeah, I wish they would have a bigger version, you know, where you can store maybe like two 
uh, two rolls of filament. So, you know, at the moment, uh, if you use it like that, you could uh, only use a big spool. And, or maybe if you have some skinny spools, I don't know uh, if there are some uh, available on the market. Here at the moment, uh, I'm using a really wide uh, spool from Filament PM, which uh, has a, th a, a depth of uh, nine centimeters. And that fills it out really uh, entirely. Uh, you can't really go deeper. So. If you have filament PM, that would be the deepest you could go, which is really a, a very wide spool. Okay, so I hope you, you like this little review. Um, very easy machine yeah, to use. It doesn't have uh, any other on and off knob than to, um, pressing on the, on the screen. Okay, bye bye.